Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap the notification bell. That way you can come back and watch these awesome videos for protecting your vehicles later. Today we're here at Gears and Grinds. This is a Vegas kind of car meetup. Lots of different people, different cars. Come on, let's all show you around. Take a look, let's see what we got here today. Gears and Grinds, pretty cool. Check them out on Instagram. Uh, got lots of really cool BMWs, a uh, lot of good German cars. This is an awesome resto mod that's here every week. Uh, this is a uh, classic, completely gone over, all modernized LS3 swapped out engine. Pretty cool. A lot of people love the Camaros. Another good one is this BMW. This thing makes crazy horsepower. Total tuner car. Got the Daytona Coupe. Really popular car here. This one uh, was developed by Peter Brock. Peter Brock's a hometown hero. He got some originals. Some are kit cars. This one, I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's a kit, but I don't know. Pretty cool. If you haven't checked out Peter Brock, check him out. He is a uh, race uh, designer. So basically, he's not a fashion designer. He's a designer for uh, aerodynamics and user ability, basically. So they developed this can air effect on this back of the car to go over 200 miles an hour. So they were they were hitting this barrier around 190. They just couldn't get these cars back in the 60s uh, to go over 190. And they're like, you know, why, why won't it go faster? Well, it's all the aerodynamics. So when the air goes off, if it grabs the back, it drags you back because drag is exponential. Uh, as speed doubles, drag quadruples. So they came up with this design, this canned air effect, and that basically eliminates all that extra drag. Got a uh, really cool, some Ferraris we got here. Got some specialty cars in a second. I'll be showing you mine. So definitely stick around. I'll show you the car I've been working on for a while now. Got the 1959 Cadillac DeVille. We're doing all the fluids on it, showing everything. And uh, as we go, we're gonna be showing a new spark plug change coming up. We're gonna be doing uh, all kinds of exhaust on it. Uh, not, not all kinds, just all OEM. But we're gonna be uh, just fixing it, going through it, making sure everything's running uh, OEM. And then we're gonna be touching up the uh, valves a little bit, so that's good. And just doing some more engine checks. Got lots of good tuner cars all the way down here. Lots of Japanese cars. What's up? Got all kinds of cool stuff. Subarus, Dodge Challenger. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what this is, but a lot of really cool imported Japanese cars. Lots of right-hand drive cars. Uh, tons of Porsche down here. Uh, last week we had a bunch of McLarens. Um, some pretty cool McLarens were down here. They're very popular now. Uh, the McLarens have just taken over the market like crazy. But the real collector cars that are really, really top end are the Ferraris. The limited edition race car Ferraris are the ones that really go up in value. A lot of other cool muscles. More Japanese cars. Mitsubishi. So this is what the Vegas car scene kind of looks like. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Uh, I love, you know, all the cars. You know, there's really not one car that I would say, uh, you know, I just have to have it. But, uh, you know, I like I like a lot of GM cars. I like the Corvettes. Some, there's always one or two Corvettes here. Uh, but I like the C6 Corvette. I had a C5. And you'll see that video where I did all the fluids on it. And then eventually my C5 got totaled. And, I, and the name of the, the video is My Wife Got Totaled. So if you're new to the channel, check out that video. Just type in uh, How My Wife Got Totaled. And it's a pretty silly video, but hey, it happens. There's a lot, of, a lot of crazy drivers here in Vegas, which makes it a lot of fun. You know, if it's too safe, it's no fun. So it's like, that's why people skydive, you know, because it's dangerous. It's got to be fun. Here's a killer underground build. This guy's put so much stuff into it. I believe he works at one of the car dealerships here. A thousand horsepower build on the methanol and all the uh, race gas and stuff like that. Super high boost. Coming on down to some signature pickup trucks. 
These are all resto modded, uh, a lot of really different vehicles. We've got a right hand drive, which is unique, really unique. And those are very popular. It's amazing how small some of these cars are and how much they sell for. Some of these old Japanese cars are twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, crazy. Absolutely crazy how much money they go for. And coming on over, the Sedbiric. So lots of cool cars. Another little right hand drive. And now we'll go up to uh, the 59 Cadillac. I'll show you all about that, show you what's going on with it, what we're doing to it next. I just got done doing uh, honing a wheel cylinder. So on those cars, they're all drums and there's really no, um, there's no really canned stuff you can buy for them with the brakes. You just kind of rebuild them. So I just got done rebuilding them and uh, now it's just one step at a time. Just doing stuff for extra safety and uh, strength. You know, it didn't need it, but if you want it to run really good, that's what you want to do. So here she is, 1959 Cadillac DeVille, and I'll take you through her. So we got her back about uh, in October-ish. Got it down in Arizona, and uh, the car was from a guy in um, New Jersey. Hence all the tags here. You'll see all the New Jersey tags, stuff like that. So basically, uh, it's an all original car, and uh, the guy gave it to his nephew. His nephew got it, and he kept it for about a year and a half. The carburetor wasn't right. So uh, he replaced the carburetor, he did all tires all around. And now uh, I pretty much just went through it. I polished up the chrome a little bit, little teeny chrome touch-ups here. You know, you'll see it's not absolutely perfect, but the chrome's nice, you know. It's still in decent shape. And uh, for me, it's kind of like a Deerlick car. You know, the Deerlick cars, just they're all OEM. You leave them the way they are. And it's just kind of piece of artwork. It's like, uh, you know, you just leave it the way it is. You can restore it, but you won't really get the money out of it. So I'm gonna kind of leave it the way it is. It's got some little surface rust, you know, nothing major. Um, everything else is pretty good on it. New interior, they just did that just for, uh, for selling it because it was all shredded. So instead of selling it shredded, roof liner's good, interior's good. And uh, here's New Jersey, the Philmont Country Club. Pretty cool. And New Jersey, 74. So yeah, so the old man had it for, uh, God, he had it for, uh, what was it, 53 years he had it for? And uh, that's pretty much the whole story on the car. We're going to be optimizing it. It's going to get a lot better gas mileage. Um, we're going to do a lot with it. Uh, we're going to be doing a specialty spark plug, which I'll show you. Um, this is the engine 6.4 liter, and this is a specific to Cadillac, so it's not a Chevy engine. And it runs very quiet, uh, really, really runs smooth, so it's just not like an old classic Chevy or something. It's just different. The bearings are different in it. Um, coming back here, all the interior is good. Cleaned up these a lot. Got a lot of this um, stuff off all the, the material. And these are the plugs we're gonna be doing. So these are the specialty spark plugs. It's a specialty uh, design. And we're gonna see what this gas mileage does. It's gonna be really interesting to see how much better uh, it does on gas mileage. So I wanna show you what a plug looks like. So I'm gonna show you right here. So this is a spark plug, if I can get it out. Little bit of a stickler. Never think it could be so hard pulling out a plug with one hand. <laughs> and there she is. So that's the intelligent spark plug design very interesting and uh, we're going to be doing that uh, spark plug change here very soon we're also going to uh, 
We're also going to do a uh, new spark plug wires. We'll also do some ignition on it. Uh, we're probably gonna get rid of the points, do like an MSD ignition setup. Just eliminates a lot of maintenance you do like every couple thousand miles instead of doing that. So we can drive the living hell out of this thing. And then we're gonna be taking her and we're probably gonna be doing a trip uh, to Nolens. I don't know, it's up in the air yet. Probably gonna be taking this little angel to Nolens, doing Mardi Gras maybe. And uh, we'll be meeting up with some subscribers on the way out. And uh, if you're on the way out, let me know. Maybe we can stop by, do an engine flush, do an oil change, and uh, optimize the cars. But yeah, it's a blast. And uh, this car, you know, I'm, I'm really not even into old classic cars much, but uh, there's something with the Cadillacs that are cool, and they're just kind of timeless, and I just really like it. You know, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of my uh, mentors, should I say, had this car. Uh, one of the guys, Gary, he is a ma magician, Gary Darwin. He actually had this car in the 60s and he loved it. It was his favorite car. And then uh, another one is Jack LaLanne. He's a fitness guy. Jack LaLanne had this car uh, in 59, 60. And he was a fitness expert and he just, he loved the car too. So a bunch of people had these cars and um, they're really unique. And uh, for me, it's like, you know, I like classic cars, but to me, it's got to be something really smooth, feel good, enjoy driving it. And uh, when I drove it, I just got the wind knocked out of me. I didn't realize it could be that good. So I said, you know what? If it's that good, I'm going to get it. So I got it. We did the uh, transmission fluid on it. We did the radiator coolant. We did the engine flush. And it runs so much better. And today, there, it's been really cold out. And I don't know if there's something wrong with the uh, alternator or what, but... I'm going to see if it'll start up. I got the battery jumper in the back. We'll see if she starts right up. But yeah, it's just been weird. I had to jump it today. For some reason, it turned off. Now it's going like butter. Could be a loose wire. Yeah, it's weird. It's never done that before. Yeah, really weird. But today's like one of the first really cold days since I've had it. Um, went through some of the chrome, so the chrome's looking a little nicer. So yeah, it's uh, we're just gonna keep her all original, you know? We'll keep her all original, all original liner, just keep it all OEM. And uh, let's see. This takes a second for it to warm up. We'll see if the radio works. But yeah, the cold is really... The cold is a stickler on this thing. I don't know what it is. It just... What is it, like 39 degrees out today? Yeah, 41 here. It's a little higher altitude. There she goes. There you go. Or go to paulpowell.com. I really can help. Paul Powell. Yeah, so the radio works, and uh, yeah, so we're going to keep playing with this thing. It's a lot of fun to screw around with this car, you know. It's one of those cars uh, you can just dial it in all you want, you know. But I'm going to keep it in a piece of artwork, you know. I like all the scratches on it and stuff. It looks cool. And just enjoy it. So yeah, so if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap the notification bell. You'll be able to see all the videos we do on this little angel. I know it, it weighs 5,000 pounds, but I still call her a little angel you know it's surprisingly low for how big it is it's long but it's it's not that uh it's not that high of a car you know it's it's amazing it rides pretty low pretty cool all right so we're going to continue the saga and i'm going to put a little playlist right here in the corner this is my playlist to all the videos on this thing and uh i just wanted to show you for the new year what a vegas car meetup looks like what type of cars are out here and I'm going to put uh, the Instagram to Gears and Grinds in the description section below so you can see all the info, uh, see what's going on out here. And we'll see you back next time. Oh, and if you're on Instagram, check me out, Even Rockmaker, and then also Synthetic Oil Protection, doc, uh, Synthetic Oil Protection on Instagram as well. All right. We'll see you back next time. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.